Okay, part two here. I got I got a spare DC for in crevice tool and well whenever I get rid of the vacuum I keep the tools but yeah. This is just oh let's check this. Uh, uh some rust how did rust even get in there? I don't even know what what God knows what they done. And with my other DC fourteen allergy I had, there was a dog that that had teeth mark that made teeth mark all over here, and same on this side and worn out the seal. But yeah, it's a nice DC fourteen. It says fourteen. Oh, by the way, this on my other one. This was like more shiny. This was like grey dull, like a dull grey color. I'm not sure if it needs washing or it just. Sun bleach. I don't even know what happened to it, but yeah. yeah. Oh, and this catch is so dodgy. Look at that. It's a dodgy catch. Oh, when I saw the DC for me, I was like, did that just catch fire or something? No, was it near fire? Actually, could have been, you know. It might have. Look, it's just so dirty from the top. It's unbearable. Well, uh, I might just try and steam clean it. If not, I have no choice but to use steel wool. But, anyways, that's not like. But I just can't stand that, really. I I I only use steel wool on like brush bar housings and isolated areas on the vacuum. But yeah, and metal. Once I use steel wool on the more well, Richard's vacuum, I've tested it and it does work. Oh, and there's one thing that's wrong with the DC forty. There's something wrong with the DC forty. Oh, by the way, no strips. But it's fine. Not fine though, but it's okay. It always still works out. And I'll show you that now. Okay. Here's a brush bar. It's so like it's really covered in uh red carpet fiber stuff and that so, so disgusting. And I see someone tried to open this. But the rest are okay. And the larger W channel is also blocked there. And what disappointed me with the DC-14, well, actually to be honest, I don't mind because I'm the £5 anyways, but £5 for this DC-14 is actually quite good though, but yeah. One thing I'm disappointed with is that this happened, well, this was like that when I bought it. I never broke anything on it, but unfortunately, I need to get any clean ahead. I don't well, uh, uh, I want to get one as cheap as possible. I have to be like silver. I'm not sure what to do with this. Okay, well, I might I might just uh, flip this up all the time, but I like using the DC 14s. Okay, uh, let's check if any blockage is anywhere. Well, there might be just some hair or anything, even though the whole section's good. Mm. Oh my days, there's a big there's a big crack here. Oh my days. Luckily, I keep the U bands and valve pipes as well, as well as the internal hoses, as long as they're in good condition. I just need to clean up, clean them up as well. And uh, sorry for this. Wait, hold on. Okay. okay, this is just disgusting. I know, yes, I, I, I'm going to admit that I did use it for only, like, actually less than, a, less than two minutes, but there wasn't any hair on this carpet, I know that, because the DC, because he vacuumed it with the DC04 yesterday, oh, and by the way, I retired the details I have now, because it's just too weak, and I don't want any plastic spray on it, but yeah, and there's no hair on this carpet, so, and the filter was just so hairy, I've, ew. There's wood lights in the bin. Oh my days, that is disgusting and a half. I think way more than that. How did that get in the bin? It better not lay eggs. It better not lay eggs. I'm not joking either. You know this Dyson is too disgusting for me to clean up. What I'm gonna do is blast this with that garden hose. But yeah, it's like, at least the bin's a bit clear. Let me just look inside the thing. Okay, the side's in the dirty inside as well. As well, but, uh, it's all nice. 
Ah, uh, what am I carpet? Oh, I need to pick up. Go in the Dyson. I'd rather have it there. You know what? It's just so disgusting. Let's do this. Get this out. That is disgusting, man. Get in there. Yeah. No, no. That is disgusting, man. And I hate spiders. Oh, it's about to go in there. Yes, going. No, 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 no. Yes, it's going there. Got it. Get in there, man. Go in there. Yeah, it's going there. It's going there. I'm going to empty it. Watch. That is just so disgusting. That is disgusting. Sorry if I'm sounding like a girl, but I just hate this. I know I sound like a girl, though, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But yeah, DC14 allergy. I like the bonus it came in though. Not, not bad five pound, but the condition and dirt state is in. I'm not really actually sure if it's worth the clean up, but it's a DC14 though at the end of the day, which is a really nice machine. I bought the same one. 13 pounds. Why does the cyclone look really white for? Not, the, not on the camera, but in real life it looks greyish white. Actually, wait, you know what? Actually, it does look like that on the camera. It's just like so grey and dull. It's like lighter grey than D than a DCL1, DCL4. It's like that grey, but a bit lighter. It almost looks like normal folds on the camera. Apart from that. Oh yeah, all this, but the cyclone does. So yeah. Okay, let's see then. So, is there anything else I need to show you? I can't make it after video as well. This is the before video. Uh, should I think? Well, the brush bar does work. Oh, and when I got it, the clutch was off, so then I just turned it on. A lot of people don't even know about the clutches when they turn off. I'm sorry, you know about this and they say it's always not picking up or anything like that. Or oh, I think there's some hair in the tubes or something, I don't know, but. Yeah. Oh my days, I just made a long video, but yeah. I'm not touching the filter. I need the handle bit, but a little. The twiggy handle bit. Actually, I might. Let me find a screwdriver or something. To... Here from yesterday, but yeah, I better not break this. I hope I don't break this. I hope I don't. Okay. Oh, but yeah, let's check the filter. Filter. Okay, there's three of these. I hope I don't break it. It's not like it's gonna break, so I don't want to break it. But wait. I hope you don't mind if I put the camera down for a second, but. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do that. I'm going to lean it. I'm going to clean uh, my bed. I'll lean on that. It's not a camera, it's a phone, so... Uh, yeah, I'll just do that. This camera is not good at um, picking up the colour very well either. Uh, Trying to figure out the best way to do this. I'm not very impressed with the clean head. I'm actually quite disappointed that I found out this part was broken. Is what makes the suction divert from the cleaner head to the hose. Yes. Okay, here it is. The feel actually is quite clean, you know. From the top, it looks like it's quite white, but. Let's see, and the results are. Oh, that is nasty, man. I feel sorry for the motor. I had to go. That is just nasty. It's like. It's like um. It's so disgusting. I can't describe it. Well, forget the carbon. Just look at this. 
Uh, that is so unbearable. Really. It looks white in the top as well. As well, but... That is just nasty. That is nasty and a half. Come on. I'm not gonna leave my arms in there. You know what else put some Let me see if I can now, because I'm not There we go. Okay. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not... But, yeah. It's... The bins are stained up as well. Have you ever had a Dyson worse than this? Well, um, I ha had a blue and purple D so an allergy. But it wasn't like this dirty one. It's actually a hairy mess. A hairy and dusty mess, but... You shut the window. But it's a nice British, um, hot day today. On Sunday, the 7th of Ju uh, July, 2013. Time. 1 o'clock. Okay, right, now, uh... Um, what shall I do? Oh yeah, uh, how's that? The window's open and someone's using my, my bike. But yeah. Okay, I had DCR7. It was like all hairy. The brush wire was like, just as hairy as this. DC 14 Like cat hair. White hair and all that stuff. Then, uh, the motor had hair in it. The motor was hairy, the cyclones were dusty. The bin was a bit hairy and the filters were hairy. Everything was hairy. Even the brushes were hairy. So, I'm gonna make an after video. Luckily, I got this exactly the same DC4 in one of the shed. Even that's cleaner than this. Even my shed's in a disgusting state. Like, well, uh. Base clean. We never cleaned our shed in three years, or I think. I think about three years. But, we, I used to. Um, Keep vacuums that are broken in there and all that stuff. And um, vacuum. I used to empty the vacuum in a plastic bag and keep in the shed for a test next time. But then that got ripped. And yeah, all that. So on this switch is a bit dodgy and stiff. I'll have to sort that out. So shall I? Um, you know, I'm gonna take all the I'm gonna take the cable switch and motor and then blast the whole machine with water. Sprinkles uh sprinkle you know what? Cover it with washing up liquid or something. Brush it and then brush it down. Then do the same with the cyclone. Cyclone is what needs the uh, most cleaning up probably. I don't know. Actually let's open this. Sorry about being a long video, but yeah. Okay, I you can I can tell I need new internal holes. Look at that one. Ew. Ew, man, that's wet. It's damp. Ew. So it's a red brush bar with red bristles. I like the belt, looks really nice. The Dyson 0250106. So the 1st of June, I think. Or 1st. Or January 2006, I'm not sure. Don't know. But I don't. Well, basically. I blocked mine. No, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna do this outside. Ew! I swear that I never looked at the soap plate. I never looked at the soap plate either. That is so disgusting. If I vacuum this dirty, I'll at least have a five pound note in there, any? or a pound coin or something like that. Then I'll be okay with it. I didn't even touch this. I need to wear gloves. Gloves. Ugh. Get in there. My screwdriver's getting dirty. 
that is like, is that the thing, you know, the milk, when you get, get a new carton of milk and then, bottle then, peel that off, I think it's that, but it looks like someone spilled tea, it's just nasty man, have you ever had a vacuum worse than this? But not as bad as what I saw in Vacuum Land, which was a Panasonic with puke inside it. I'm glad mine's like that, not like that. Not like that, though, but I still hate doing vacuum now. You know what I need to flip it out. I feel sorry for the screwdriver. Flipping. Oh, yeah, someone's here there. Not ours. Just get on there. There you go. Here we go. You got I fed it some here. This is just nasty and a half and a half and a half and a half. Wow, 16 minute video, oh my days. So here we are, thanks for watching, bye.